Welcome to Outpost Pottery. I'm MJ Perry. If you're looking to get started throwing or looking for your first beginner's potter's wheel, you're in the right place. I do reviews on potter's wheels. I've purchased five, six, seven, seven potter's wheels in the past three years. So I like to throw and I like to teach people to throw and these are some of the best. Now this is a potter's wheel I bought about one year ago and I used it to teach on a lot. This, although from a different brand, is an upgraded version of this wheel. Let me tell you a few of the, the new features that I see in this one. First, my favorite is that this comes off. The splash pan comes off, it's got these nifty compartments on there where you can put your sponges, your clay trimmings, your other tools, and, uh, and it comes off, which makes it easy to clean too, but the reason I like it is not because it's easy to clean, but because I can put on my wheel head here a Giffen grip. This was one of the main drawbacks of uh, this previous version because the splash pan didn't come off. It's fixed. I don't know if you can see the bolts down there. It's fixed on there, which it wasn't a big deal to clean, but you couldn't put the Giffen grip on there. This is what, in my experience, the production potters that are putting out 500 pieces a day that have a lot of potters there with them in their studio. Uh, uh, Jonathan Martin, a friend of mine here in town who supplies Magnolia, Chip and Joanna here in town with a lot of their mugs. This is where I learned about the Giffen grip from him. So this makes trimming pots super fast and super easy. I know there's a lot of ways to trim and I'm not ragging on any of them, but um, if you want speed and to get her done, I like the Giffen grip. <clears throat> so honestly, that was worth it for me right there just to have the the uh, splash pan come off. Another thing I like is that the cord comes off. This is like you'd have in like a rice cooker or like on a computer. Uh, and that might seem like a small thing because every power cord and every potter, potter wheel I've ever had is attached. But when you're holding these things and carrying them around, they're kind of clunky and big and a little bit heavy and you can trip and I've tripped several times. So <clears throat> I like that the power cord comes off. This one feels more stable. The wheels feel stable. The body feels stable. I'll let you guys take a look underneath the two of these here. They're virtually identical underneath here. All the guts are the same. I don't see much, if any, improvements on that. Just a little cleaner underneath the new one. Now, one of the downsides on this uh, <clears throat> newer one, in my opinion, is this crankshaft the hand crank with foot pedal, I don't feel like this one is as tight and snug as the previous iteration. This version, it's tight, it's snug. I've, I, I've let this loose with kids, a ton of kids, and it's still working great. <clears throat> this one just doesn't feel as tight. I don't think that's gonna be an issue. Uh, it certainly wasn't just now, and I actually really liked how easy it was to change speeds. This is pretty, uh, I don't know if responsive is the right word, but you push a little, it goes a lot faster uh, on this, we, on this uh, throttle here, the hand crank. Now they seem to be about the same p level of power. You're not gonna center probably more than 10, 15, maybe 20 pounds of clay on these, but you don't need to center that much when you're getting started. Honestly, t you're not gonna throw anything that's 10 pounds for at least a year, in my opinion. And the last thing you need to know, which is not necessarily a a bad thing, but it is a mistake, is forward usually in the pottery world means it's going counterclockwise. But in this one, forward means it's going clockwise. And reverse is counterclockwise. So a lot of left-handed people will throw with a, a counterclockwise, <coughs> sorry, with a clockwise um, rotation and on this one, that is forward, but usually in the pottery world, that's backward. Just so you know, uh, if you're the 95% of people that are going to be throwing in the counterclockwise direction, that direction is reverse on this one. Now, one more small advantage is this one is about a pound lighter than this one. Not a big deal. I would say both of these are in the portable category. Not quite as portable as a Shimpo Aspire, but very portable. And you could haul it around wherever you needed to go to do a demo, to do a workshop, to sell at a fair, whatever it is. Now, one more thing you need to know is that the there is no bat pins. And if you can see, no bat pins in this wheelhead. This is a nine and three quarters inch um, wheelhead, which is the same, which is like a little short of 25 centimeters. 
Usually potter's wheels have uh, bat pins 10 inches apart and there's a standard bat that just fits right on top of that. Sometimes they're eight inches apart. These do not have that, but that's not a big deal. That means you're going to be throwing on the wheel head or using alternative methods of bats. Now, if you're asking, what does he mean alternative ways to do bats? Uh, check out my video on bats. I have several ways to do it there, and I think you'll find one that, that you like. I actually never use bat pins for my bats. Okay, guys, that's my review of the Vivo Home 25CM 350-watt pottery wheel. I'm including affiliate links below in the description below, not just to this wheel, but to similar wheels that I think either came from the same factory or were using the same plans. Also, if you'd like to download my free PDF comparison chart where I go through the wheels that I own and the 14 criteria that I'm using to evaluate them, you can check that out in the description below. And lastly, if you're getting started in pottery and you're trying to set up a home studio, check out my Studio Essentials course. It's also in the links below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning and I'll see you next time.